removed from a lot of indices. That's the news here. So this is S&P Dow Jones Indices, which is the company that, that keeps and maintains many of these country-specific and equity indices all over the world. What they are announcing today is that they are going to remove all of the stocks that are either listed in or domiciled in Russia from many of the standard indices that have them in, as a part of them, including emerging markets indices, certain country-specific ones. Instead, what they're going to do is take all those Russian equities and make them their own standalone entity, if you will. And the reason is pretty straightforward and simple. There's no trading in these Moscow equities in Moscow or anywhere around the world right now. They've been halted in many places around the world, including London and here in New York. So the accessibility of those stocks is very much in question. And we don't know when they're going to trade again or in which locations. So because of that, they are going to remove all of them so that people can still invest in these indices without having to deal with the headaches right now of trying to figure out whether those stocks actually have liquidity or not, whether they should be investing them or not. Russia becomes its own standalone country entity. All the other indices kind of adapt and maintain their other constituents besides Russia, Kelly. So a big development here. By the way, this all takes place ahead of the market open on March 9th. We'll bring you more as we know more. Back over to you.